Ken Surfs here, and it's time for uh, another shave video. This time, I know I said I was going to wait until July, and what are we, like four days short? But uh, I'm going to take off this goatee today. And <clears throat> when I went out to the Riverside uh, meetup at uh, West Coast Shaving, the mini meetup, uh, Abraham, a uh, friend of mine, had, send, had said one of the uh, viewers, and I know him, Mr. Burke Blair, had asked if I would try, when I take off this goatee, the PAA Alpha Ecliptic Razor. This is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and it's a really nice one. Originally, I was going to take it off with this, the Mula R41. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the Alpha Ecliptic to take off half of this, and I will use the Mula R41 to take off the other half. I'm going to leave the mustache right now. That'll come off later. Uh... I'm gonna do, maybe I'll do a Magnum PI shave. Mustache is still coming in, but I'm gonna take this off first because it's itching and it's bugging me and uh, I like it, but uh, it's time. I can always grow it back. And I'm gonna be using some Wilkinson Sword Blades today, made in Germany. I don't know if you've seen these blades. This was uh, not a lot of writing on them. I used this one in one of the other shaves, and I only used it one time, but to be fair, I put two brand new blades into, uh, into this one. So I'm going to use that. I've got my uh, Simoog Badger Brush. Actually, you've seen this. The Crystal Skull works great. I'm going to soak this Simoog. Get in there. One-handed. There we go. Got the... Uh, Soaking in there, so by the time I get ready, that will be there. I'm going to use, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to need all the help I can get today. I'm going to use the Prorosso Pre-Shave. And I'm going to use some uh, Prorosso White today. And I've got the, uh, the white, the, I don't think I have the red, the white and the green. I haven't tried the red yet, so I'm going to have to do that in a future shave. And we did have a mail call today. So I'm going to give you a preview of shaves to come. Now you might not like this one. This one, uh, this one just just arrived. Got it on Amazon. Someone had asked, and let me drop down here. You guys know, you know Barbasol. I mean, uh, I've, I've everybody I think who shaves at one point knows Barbasol, but I didn't know that they actually make a razor. And it's a cartridge razor. But someone asked me if I would uh, do a shave in the future with the new Barbasol six blade razor and compare it, maybe a side by side, with my go to, the Sensor XL or the Gillette Atra. Some of the vintage cartridge razors. That's what I prefer. But uh, a lot of you still use cartridge razors. So that arrived today. I will give that a shot in a future shave. It doesn't fall down. Now, I also had a package come from Global Shave Company. Mr. Sheldon Quinn sent me some uh, products to try out. Got a nice, nice box right here. And he's got a new line of uh, razors coming out. So you're gonna see these in the future. Uh, vintage Black Tiger, can you see that? Worst case, you can freeze this screen. You can see how it compares. They did a nice comparison to the Vanderhagen the Bally Victory Razor, and the Lord L6. And this Vintage Black Tiger uh, is made in China, antique black, and manufacturer suggested retail price $9.99. That's one of them. The other one, the Java Arabica. And this is a uh, made in Pakistan, Black Tiger, Black Tiger Java Arabica. Arab, Arabeca, there we go. I'm tongue-tied today. And manufacturer suggested retail price on this one is $24.99, lifetime warranty. There's the specs on that one. And he gave me one for my wife to try, the Jasmine, the woman's choice. And uh, this one is made in Pakistan. 
$25 suggested retail price and it's compared to the Edwin Jaeger Heather, the Parker 29L, or the Ansef. That's this one. So let me show you these real quick before we get the shave started. This I believe is the Jasmine. Comes in a cool little, little pouch. I'll have to let my wife try that out. She's dead scared of uh, DE razors, Sheldon, so I'm not positive I can get her to do that. This, I believe, is, was it the second one, the uh, Java Arabica. I believe that's this one. Oh no, cappuccino. This is the cappuccino. Three piece. Very nice. Cappuccino. All right. Let's put that in here. Black Tiger. This one's easy. There's the Black Tiger. Very similar to, I think this was the, uh, maybe the Espresso. There's so many cool names out there. This one, the uh, Black Tiger. Very good weight on this one. Some barista soap. Barrister soap decaffeinated. Made in America. We'll be trying this out. And he did send me an espresso razor, which you've seen me use before in a previous video. Really good razor. He said he uh, wants me to give this away in maybe our next shave giveaway. So, all right. Thank you, Sheldon, Global Shave Company. We've got some cool products lined up. All right. Shall we get this one started? Let me do a break right here, a cut in case I goof. That intro probably took five minutes, but uh, I always love a great mail call. All right. I got some growth here too. A tremendous growth here. All right, Paraso pre-shave. And as always, if I have to abort the mission with either of those razors, I will. I don't want to get cut up, although it makes for a good video, right? Let that soak for a second. Open up the Parasso. So how have you been? How has the weekend been? How the hell are you? All right, I'm gonna get this a little wetter. I prefer it nice and wet. The bore brushes, people are asking some of my favorite brushes and I like the bore, the bore really can whip it up good. Some people prefer the badger, some people the synthetic because of the animal issue. And uh, I like the synthetics, I like the badger, and I like the boar. But the boar can really whip it up good because the bristles are a little stiffer. Than the badger. Definitely stiffer than the uh, synthetics. Got to hear from a lot of new wet shavers in the comments. Uh, one gentleman from the Air Force, welcome. Says he looks forward to shaving every day. A lot of people are asking about the blades I prefer. Actually, the Wilkinson Sword, these ones did pretty good last time. I do prefer the Gillette Wilkinson Sword. But, uh, wow, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Gotta go slow and easy with this one. This is not the hard part. Did you see that? Man, Burke, you weren't kidding.
Took me three weeks. Oh, look at that. Wow. It cleaned right out. You were not kidding, Berg. That took me three weeks to grow that beard, or that goatee. Some of you guys grow that overnight. Wow. Not one cut. Doug Smythe, man. Way to go, sir. All right. <laughs> Always nervous with this one. We'll never put a feather blade in that razor, this razor. sink when this is done. This is Mr. Monty. Not being a smart ass, but I do not think a cartridge uh, would have done that. I think that bad boy would have clogged. Super slow. What I didn't get in the first pass, I'm going to get in the second pass. Oh, that bowl. Oh. It is just, oh man, it feels cold now. Oh, it feels cold. Someone asked me to keep, what is it, Van Dyke, the tickler? <laughs> Heard a lot of them. But uh, I told my wife, she goes, ah, no, don't, don't do that. I got a happy wife, happy life. She's probably not going to like the mustache. Probably not going to like that mustache. It's got an aggressive gap. I thought that would be an issue, man. Got a pretty damn good gap in there. Look at that. But depending on how you hold it, I'm hearing the feedback. Got me a little tiny bit right there. It's funny, because sometimes I'm done with these shaves and there's no blood, and then a while later, <laughs> it looked like a dog bit my neck or something. Mula did not cut me yet. Hear the feedback? Yet there's hardly any there. And it really didn't get me that bad.
I really thought I was going to cut the hell out of myself. You guys are probably waiting for it. That razor did pretty damn good. All right. Oh, this, I'm glad I caught this, all that hair in a... Well, I think I've showed you before. In case you're uh, new, I uh, keep a bowl in the sink. There's my wife calling. She's on her way home. Should probably try this phone too, but I've turned it to uh, airplane mode. Oh no, that was uh, a robocaller. I've got no mo robo at uh, home here. It's a free service through, uh, I'm with Frontier, I guess. Those robot calls, one ring, done. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen me with a mustache for years. Damn, I didn't, didn't recognize myself there. Behind the ear. Another dudes, college dudes, saying that they have drinking games, and when they see friggin' <laughs> see friggin' uh, soap behind my ears, they 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 tank a pitcher. Well, thanks for watching, guys. All right, another guy asked, "How come I don't use bombs that much?" Well, I do. Aqua di Gio is a really nice soothing balm. I will use that today. I may put some thayers on because this really tightens the pores up when I'm done. And I didn't notice it that much with the Humphreys, but with this, really tightens up the pores. Very good. This video will probably run 15 minutes. A lot of you are saying, hey man, they're too fast, but they are what they are. All right, shake it first, right? On those bombs, shake it first. Get that out of there. No burn on that. <laughs> this mother would have burned, I'm positive. A balm, of course, is a little more soothing for the skin. It keeps the moisture in. It's not alcohol-based. It doesn't evaporate and dry. Uh, I do like the burn. I've lost the lid. There we go. What's the other one that I sometimes use? Yeah, Nivea. Can you see that over there? Nivea Balm, really good one. Nivea for men, cooling post-shave balm. I don't use them too often, but they really help, especially in the heat and when it's uh, dry outside and your skin dries. No cuts. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I was hesitant for that shave, that's why I was waiting for a while, didn't know how it was going to turn out, but uh, wow, Burke, no kidding, that baby worked great. I'll get that back to Abraham, or I'll get that back to you, thank you very much for sending it to me. Uh, for you guys who are pondering a good razor also, that PAA, but man, this one you can do no wrong, this one, treat it with respect, though, watch the blades you put into it, and some cool razors to come. Can't wait to try those. So thanks very much for watching everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the mail call. Uh, it's Tuesday, almost the 4th of July. Here I am England, from England and I'm uh, celebrating the 4th of July. I just love fireworks, man. So, uh, oop, low power mode. And England, no offense to Panama, what a game. Six to one, <whistles> World Cup. Let's see how they do uh, this Thursday. I think they're playing Portugal, I think. 
So, uh, you know, good entertainment in the World Cup. All right, everyone. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon.